We humans have long sought explanations for our experience, and today competing explanations tug at us seemingly like never before. Science and faith seem to be in a great philosophical war, but are they? Between polarized arguments there are tranquil voices of moderation that ask, can't these ideas just get along? To be upfront with you, I have no personal desire to meld science and faith. And I present this work to those who simply find value in both, have decided to retain both, but need help understanding what this might involve philosophically. Before we talk about science and faith, we need some definitions. What is faith? To Christians, faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. From this we can draw out three critically important words, assurance, hope, and conviction. Now what is science? There are many definitions that I could use, but to clarify the contrast with faith, I've selected to write my own. Now science is the exploration of things argued, skepticism of things seen. From this we can draw out three critically important words as well, namely exploration, argument, and skepticism. As you can see from these key words, science and faith are fundamentally different. Instead of exploring the unknown, faith tells us that things are as they are with assurance. Instead of arguing sides toward a logical resolution, faith offers hope in what is already believed. Instead of questioning what is known, faith requires conviction. Despite these differences, many have argued over the centuries that science and faith are compatible and even complementary because they satisfy different needs. For example, it has often been argued that science tells us how things are, while faith provides meaning to it all. This idea of mutual compatibility was expressed by Galileo, who, borrowing an earlier argument, proclaimed, quote, The intention of the Holy Ghost is to teach us how to go to heaven, not how heaven goes. In modern times, one of the most notable arguments for compatibility was made by the late Stephen Jay Gould in his book, Rock of Ages. He argued that religion and science claimed non-overlapping domains, or magisteria. In particular, the ultimate purpose of life and morality belong to religion, while science does what science does, which to Gould, it seemed, did not include a number of things. The idea of mutual compatibility has been embraced by many religious institutions and the National Academy of Sciences. But should we just accept this off-made argument? If there really were no overlap, why would there be so much discussion and debate? Like others before me, I argue that these so-called magisteria are not separate as alleged. If there were no real or perceived overlap, there would be no controversy. The fundamentalist religious remain hard at work to displace science with face-based creationism under the guise of intelligent design. Meanwhile, Behavioral ecologists, anthropologists, and neural scientists argue that there is an evolutionary basis and logic in much of what we call morality. As an even greater threat to these so-called magisteria, the faithless have found that scientific cosmology and evolution provide a radically new and richly satisfying alternative meaning to life. The question of overlap is central to the discussion that follows. If religion and science have non-overlapping domains, as suggested by Gould, they are logically compatible, although their boundaries would need to be negotiated by a society or individuals. However, there seems to be a corollary here which is often overlooked. If there are indeed non-overlapping domains, both would be necessary in order to achieve a full understanding of things. Religion would be as necessary as science, and the sad atheists and the sad young earth creationists 
would both be missing out on something important. Overlap means something different than what is shown here. Of course, science and faith are compatible if NOMA applies, but does it? Do science and faith share overlapping domains? And more importantly, if they do, is there room for reconciliation? Here and elsewhere, I argue that science can and does overlap with all of these traditionally religious provisions to society, and not just a little either. Most prominently, science and religion have long held decidedly overlapping domains when it comes to explanation, the competing explanations for the universe that we are confronted with on a regular basis clearly demonstrate that the idea of non-overlapping domains is simple nonsense.